How's it going everybody? I want to welcome you to the greatest motion package ever by JM3 Sports. We're going to talk about the passes, the dodges, the shots, the motions. We're going to show you drill clips and game clips. And I think you'll find in this 20 minute seminar, you're going to have a great way to get started and to jump start your motion offense for the upcoming 2018 season. First thing we're going to work on is a couple of different passes. And the passes are based on throwbacks. It's going to be your pull pass and your reverse pull pass. Notice the midi throws back without rolling back. It is too slow to roll away against a short stick. You have to be able to just step back one step and throw the ball across your body. The second pass is called a reverse pull pass. Notice how the midfielder split, he's a right-handed player, he splits to his left hand and he's able to pivot on the same line, backpedal and throw the ball back. This is a very easy technique for players to execute and it allows them to have the confidence to split hard to their weak hand and to be able to throw back quickly when a slide comes. The next thing we're going to work on is a few different dodges. The first dodge we're going to talk about is your V-cut and your split dodge. Here you're going to notice that the midfielder is going to run right-handed towards the left and then make a cut to the right in the shape of a V. This V-cut move is incredibly important and it sets up your split dodge. Watch the split dodge set up by the V-cut angle. You're going to see the dodger running right-handed towards the left as if he may do a V-cut. But instead, he runs and just quickly jabs and splits. And this allows the player to simulate the V-cut to set up the split dodge. It's, this is to be used all over the field. Another technique that's very important is called a slide dodge. This is where you get as close to your man as possible to cut down on their cushion. You should be about the di just outside of the distance of the defender's arm length. Because you're closing down on this cushion, when you get a step, you can really turn the corner. It is an incredibly effective way to dodge against shorts and poles. And for many players, it's the easiest way to dodge because it allows them to turn the corner. Slide dodge is easier than it looks. It might be the easiest way to dodge that I have found. Now we're going to talk about using multiple moves. And we're going to talk about your natural side first. So if you're a right-handed player and you were to draw a line right up the middle of the field, your natural side is on this side. It's where you can roll back to your right hand where you can stop and go and get underneath to your right hand. Any move you're going to do is going to get you back to the middle on your right hand. And we are going to work on the rollbacks, the pop-outs, and the re-dodges on your natural side. Here you're going to see Peter Baum with a rollback and a re-dodge, which looks a lot like a finalizer. Here you're going to see a hitch-and-go rollback to the middle with a left-handed player on his natural side. Here's an MJ move, which is a re-dodge back on the natural side. We're also going to work on our wrong side moves, the multiple moves that you'll use on the wrong side. So if you draw a line up the middle and you're a right-handed player, you have to somehow get your right hand and be able to have angle. So we're going to work on rolling back to the middle to be able to have enough angle to come back down the side. That's a double rollback. We'll work on dodging and getting outside and turning the corner on a belly out move. All of these moves allow us to maximize our angle. So here, let's watch this lefty fakes and bears in so that he can have an, and a little MJ move to be able to like gain some angle on his wrong side. You're going to see this player get out. You're going to see him belly out a little bit and then turn the corner 
The belly out turn the corner is one of the most important moves on your wrong side. And you have to work on this move. He's got enough angle to shoot and score because he turned the corner into the middle. We can work on it here. You're going to see a dodge, body, belly, turn the corner, and just enough angle to shoot. Now you're going to see a double rollback. Not enough angle here. Push yourself into the middle and now have enough angle to shoot. Coming from behind, we have to be able to use multiple angles as well and multiple dodges, the rollbacks, the cutbacks, the MJ moves, the popouts, all the same moves that you'll use, but it tends to be more of a natural side progression because people dodge from behind this way. But the common denominator is being physical, using fakes, using stop and goes and rollbacks and rockers. The fade shot from behind where you step away and shoot it around your man on a screenshot. The inside roll. All these moves happen when you work on one-on-ones near the net. One of the classic drills is called tight one-on-ones where the defender lines up tight to the offensive player and they get their shot off right by the net. Shooting. It's incredibly important that you have the shots that you work on are the ones you're going to see in games. It starts with your screenshot. You have to look to shoot around your man. It sets up all your dodges and it's far easier to score when you shoot around your man than when you try to shoot when the goalie can see you. We always shoot with tennis balls so we don't beat up our goalie. And here we're working on alley shots with teeter-totters and leaners. We're either looking down and shooting high or we're lifting our hands up high and trying to shoot it low. We might work on our moves and our shots at the same time, such as this MJ move practice. Split dodge, MJ move, fake it back, and then work on your shots on the run. For outside shooting, we work on a technique called low high windups. Notice how the shooter is going to fake low, lift up, and then shoot. The low high windup, Kevin Rice is a master of it, is very difficult for the goalies. When you fake low and lift up, you can manipulate the goalies. So we work on this in practice all the time. Low, high, and shoot. It's a double fake in and of itself, and it allows the players to learn how to be super deceptive shooters. Finishing. You have to practice your finishing, and we like to do it in this four corners drill. You're going to notice that each corner cuts and receives a diagonal feed. We use tennis balls when we're shooting from the outside. We use lacrosse balls when we're shooting from the inside because we don't feel like we will beat up our goalie. Now let's talk about some three-man midfield plays that you must know. Regular is one of the most fundamental midfield motions. This is where we're going to have a dodge a follow with the other midi and a float out the back with the midi on the crease. This is a fundamental motion and the reason why it works well is because this defender is going to slide and especially if we redodge we can hang him up a little bit and it puts this defender in the position of covering the skip lane and the follow. So let's kind of watch this. Dodge, follow, float. I will tell you that if this follow follows into a more dangerous spot, it puts more pressure on this defender to guard him and the float. Obviously the ball comes back around to the float, it's a good time to dodge. The other setup is called Blue Devil. Duke runs this a lot. And this is where we dodge, the other midi drops down even with the crease, and the crease will be the follow. So see other midi drops down and now you're going to see the crease go to the follow. Very effective way to set up your offense. It's great because it allows for the rollback. So here Matt Rambo is a lefty. He rolls back to the middle. The reason why that's true is because if you're always following over with your other midfielder, it's hard to roll back without jamming yourself up. So the Blue Devil look is excellent for setting up rollbacks in your offense. We like to run three on twos. I say it kills six birds with one stone. Let's take a look. 
Let's see how what we're working on. V-cut, split dodge, reverse, pull pass, one more, backside wind up, hitch and go, dump down, double hitch, screenshot. By the way, what offense are we running here? This is a three on two regular. We have a dodge, we have a follow, and we have a float out the back. So now we're working on all of the dodges, the passes, the shots, and the motions in the scope of our midfield, in the scope of our midfield offense. And it's a great way to work on everything. Here we see it from the other side. Split, throwback, fake, money pass, one more, hitch and go down the backside, and a finish. Now let's take a look at us running three on two Blue Devil, where our crease is gonna pop. Dodge, crease is the follow, the other midi drops down, and what are we working on? Same kind of stuff. Split, reverse, pull pass. And then because it's a three on two, we get the one more in the finish. We have to be able to get midfield motions going on, but we need the attack to be able to move too. We have two basic attack motions when the midfield dodges. Gold is the adjacent attack clears through. Blue the adjacent attackman fakes his clear through and fades to X while the backside attackman cuts the middle. Let's take a look. Here you're going to see Ohio State is running Blue Devil. Their lefty attackman's clearing in. He's going to end up doing a little ball side sort of fish hook. And we're going to see that we end up with two players behind the net. Here, Hopkins is running a, a little double pick play out of the midfield, and you're going to see the attacker getting into their spots, and what happens? The ball side attackman clears through, and instead of having two behind, we have one behind, and then we have a backside attackman on the wing. And these spots and the spacing for the attacker are incredibly important, and um, we have to be able to master those, and it's important to be able to do have multiple motions. Here, you're going to see Carolina running what I call blue. You can call it whatever you want, but basically, the, the lefty attackman is going to fade behind the net. The backside attackman is going to cut the middle. And you can decide to have one behind or two behind. In this case, Carolina decides to get two behind. And to be able to have both of those motions is a pretty easy way to create some variability within your offense. So you have two midfield motions and the, the attack doesn't need to know what the middies are doing. And you can have two attack motions and the middies don't need to know what the attack are doing. So how do we practice this? We're gonna practice here. You're gonna see us practicing a blue devil look. So we have dodge, midi follow. And what are the attack doing? So the middies are three against three. The attacker three against zero, and the attacker working on blue, trying to get their spacing down. As you can see, their spacing isn't great, but they're getting the motions down. They practice getting the ball down through X and back up to the middies. And now the middies are working on running another midfield look, which is a pick across look. Here, the attacker continuing to work on their blue. What they should be doing though is running blue or gold and this allows you to practice live three-on-threes with your midfielders and simultaneously work on 3v0 balance, motion, ball movement, spacing with your attack. So the next step is to work on your three-on-three -three behind work. The balance, the dodging, and the, and the way these three attackmen play together, there are several little three-man plays that you can run. Carolina won a national championship running a lot of early offense. What you're going to see here is a seal right there. The defense fights through the seal, and the attack man at X feeds the, feeds the slip. There's a lot of different plays that you can run, and they're all effective, and we can do them in practice. So we're going to see here, dodge, start with two on the crease, roll behind, and what we're working on is a throwback and a goal line seal. You can see the attackman throws it back to another lefty and he's able to seal his own man and then step off that seal to try to create a seal and bump situation. So that's an attack play that we can work on. Here's another attack play. We fake the pick behind 
And now we come inside and pick inside. And we work on everything from the dodge to get your hands free to the spot feeds. Here we fake the pick behind and now we do a little fish hook where the attackman fakes like he's gonna pick in front. He fish, fish hooks in front of the net and we have our feeder eyeing that up. Here's a, here's a little seal play similar to what we saw in the first clip in which the attackman is going to come around, loop around this seal on the inside and the feeder is gonna to have to get his hands free and throw a spot feed. All of these types of three on three work will help your attackmen with their stick protection, their two man games, their ability to feed, to handle pressure, to throw back, to dodge, and it's great for your defense as well. So now, what do we do with our midfields, midfielders when the ball's with the attack? There's a lot of things you can do, but we're gonna show you a really simple motion here. First of all, you're gonna have two middies out top and one middie on the crease with an attack on a high crease. We want to make sure that that attackman cuts down the backside. You see that? He always wants to cut down the backside. That's going to be a really important element. Now let's talk about what the middies are going to do. We're going to get the crease midi to float out, and we're going to get the backside midi to cut in. And if the defense is thinking about staying with their motion, then they can't slide and second slide. And if they want to slide in second slide, then they can't stay with the motion. So let's watch that. There's the exchange. The ball gets up and over. Getting the ball up and over is an incredibly important part of offense, and we're going to work on that. Obviously, once they, the ball gets up and over, we can attack with all different types of motions. Here, we're going to see the same thing again. This team was less worried about the dodge and more worried about their matchups. But you can see the exchange up and over, and then the offense gets into the look it's going to run. Here's another example of a team running Blue Devil. This is Duke. They're running Blue Devil. So you can see the, the midi ops to sweep. We got the shallow cut, but the midi carries it all the way down. And so when the ball starts getting dodged, you're going to see that there's only two middies out top because one middies behind. Probably they're going to get into a big little. And you can see that when, that when that happens, they get into a simple exchange of their two middies out top, which puts the defense in a position again. Do I stay with my man? If I do, I can't slide in second slide. Or do I zone it up and help? But if I do that, then I lose my matchup. The point here is to be able to work on three-on-three -three work with our attack and work on skeleton work with our midfield so that we can learn how to move without the ball, get the ball up and over, and integrate the movements into our offense and still do it in pieces and parts. So let's just say that the ball starts down here with A1 and uh, we come across and set a little pick. Um, here are the movements we're going to focus on. A2 is always going to go right down the backside pipe. Our crease midfielder is going to float out the back while our backside midfielder is going to cut the middle. M3 up here is in a really important spot too because if he gets very wide, then his man will drop down on A1. So we got to keep him tight and uh, inside the box close to shooting range so that his defender is going to have to respect the fact that he's a threat to score. So, but what we're working on here is the three on three and we want to work on getting the ball up and over. So we've gone through our movements, A3 picked for A1 who dodged, A2 cut down the back side, M2 had already floated out, M1 had cut in. Now what we're going to work on is quickly getting the ball up and over for a backside dodge. M1 and M3 are going to communicate are we in regular or are we in blue devil. Meanwhile A2, A3 and A1 are going to balance themselves so that they can get ready for the dodge about to initiate. Okay so now 
the ball has gone up, it's going to go over, let's say these guys decide they're going to be in blue devil, A2 balances out to his spot, and then all of a sudden M2 dodges, M1 gets ready to follow, M3 drops down, and these guys decide, hey, what are we in? And let's say they're in blue, so he backs off, he cuts the middle, he comes back, and now we're right back into our 3v3 behind action. So M2 initiates his dodge, M1 goes to the follow, M3 goes to the float, A1 cut the middle, A2 faded, A3 is reading. So now the ball bounces, dodge bounces, we throw it behind, and now we get back into working together. And the middies now have to get some balance. M2 will probably make his way into the crease, and then we're gonna get started again with the same motion we had in the first place. There's a lot of great offenses to run out there. This was just one example, but I hope that the greatest motion package video helped you plan for your season and gave you some priorities and some guidelines for how to get started with your motion offense for the 2018 season.